Hi, I'm Jordan Law, and today we'll be going fast into what shutter speed is and how it works. Gotta go fast. Getting straight into it, shutter speed, as the name would suggest, is how fast the camera shutter opens and closes. But in all seriousness, that's actually what it means. The easiest way to show this is with a film camera as they have physical shutters inside them. The shutter in a film camera is what stops the light that's traveling through the lens from hitting the film in the back and exposing it. And when we press the aptly named shutter release button, it opens the shutter, letting the light pass through and exposing an image onto the film before closing again. This is a good time to point out that you shouldn't confuse the mirror moving up and down inside an SLR or DSLR as the shutter itself. That mirror is only there so you can see the image coming through the lens itself. And if we then look at a digital SLR camera, you'll probably notice that there's no shutter at all behind the mirror. That's because it has an electronic sensor so it continuously captures light so it can decide how much light to capture itself. Unlike film which is coated in tiny crystals that physically change when the light hits them. Anyway with that tangent out of the way why would we even need to change the speed of the shutter? Surely it doesn't matter that much. Well it kind of really does. Just like the aperture in a lens the speed of the shutter affects how dark or bright the image will be. Shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second so 1 4th is a quarter of a second which is actually quite slow while 1 250th is 4 milliseconds. As we saw in the last episode aperture also affects the depth of field which you want to have full control over to make the best photos possible. So we choose the aperture for the look of the image we want and then we use something like a light meter or a spot meter or your camera's built in one to figure out the shutter speed from there. We can however do the opposite of this, choosing our shutter speed first and then using a meter to figure out our aperture for different effects. For example long exposures for that long trailing look and on the opposite end short exposures for something that only lasts a split second. Anyway that's just a basic rundown of it so as always thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the previous episode of Kit Convo on Aperture if you haven't seen that already. For something a bit different the photography series where me and my wife muck around with different cameras and go on photography adventures and with all of that out of the way see you next week